Franklin is famous for an experiment he is said to have performed in 1752, his so-called kite and key experiment, where he goes out in the middle of a thunderstorm, sends up a kite with a key dangling on it, and attracts a bolt of lightning. I have some doubt, and some other people have expressed some doubts as to whether he literally did that, because if you do that yourself, I don't want to be anywhere near you. Someone who sends up a kite in an electrical storm with a key on it is asking to be electrocuted. So he may, in fact, have been offering us, uh, you know, something of a, uh, an elaborated story. The important thing, though, to see from it was this. Why did electricity strike? certain targets, shall we say. For centuries before, the understanding had been that electricity, at least in the form of lightning, that was the work of God. And it was God executing vengeance on evildoers. And that is why the legend was that in the middle of an electrical storm, if you wanted the, if you wanted the lightning to, to cease, you, you would go up and ring the church bell because that would disperse the lightning. That would satisfy the wrath of God. But what would happen if you sent up a kite with a key and that drew the lightning? Oh, wait a minute. That doesn't seem to have anything to do with the wrath of God. It simply seems to be that you sent up a piece of metal and the lightning behaved like ordinary electricity, and there wasn't anything more to say about it. So even if the literal experiment did not happen, the rationale of it pointed in a very different direction.